And so uh, I have gotten this question via email and a couple other uh, forums about how to create board and batten siding. And um, so obviously, um, and initially the way I started this before I sort of honed in the design a little bit is um, I just used a, 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 a pattern, right? So um, if I take, if I draw a wall here, I should probably turn off Enscape. <laughs> I'm gonna be sitting over here raking through changes in Enscape Live. So I really wanted to, uh, I really wanted to do, uh, to show this before we wrap up. Okay, so this project obviously has board and batten. And board and batten is something that people always ask about. How do you model it? Do you really model it? Do you need line work, etc.? So what I wanna do is just show you a couple examples of, of how you can go about it. So the first thing is, if I was to just draw a wall here. So <clears throat> this is just a plain wall. You can see it's got a back, uh, a, uh, a couple layers to it if I dig in. All right, so you can see it's two by six studs, drywall, plywood, and then a uh, board and batten finish. And so this board and batten, the first way to do it and the most simple way to do it is to just add a pattern, right? So I can go under, I can go under the material of the board and batten and I can make a, uh, let's just say it's a horizontal, I can make a custom one, but I think I already have one in here. Let's see, vertical siding, sure. Vertical siding, if you wanna make a custom one, you can. And that's it, right? And to be honest with you, that's probably gonna look fine for most construction documents as well as uh, most visualizations you want. But I could tell you from experience that um, when it comes to the visualization side of it and, and extremely helpful, to be able to model these things can be really cool and really, really uh, powerful. So what is this? This is actually a curtain wall, okay? So if anyone, if you guys have seen, I just drew it there, if you guys have seen my um, wood slat post um, or even, let me see wood slats. <clears throat> I'll post it in the, I'll post a link in it in the in the uh, chat right now, and then I will also uh, post it in the description afterwards. But very similar process, except you're going to use actual panels. I see a question coming in. I'll I'll run through it right now, or I'll run through it in a second. <clears throat> so so this is a curtain wall, as you can see. And so what what is it made out of? How does it work? So if I go into the curtain wall itself, I go to edit type. You'll see it has a panel that's called boards. So I made a custom panel called boards. And then I have a fixed distance of one foot, depending on whatever board and batten you're making, you may want some other ones. And then I just have one mullion profile called rectangular mullion batten. So what's really cool is you can make this without loading in any custom families. So if I roll down to, and I expand where it says families. So boom, if I expand where it says families, and I can go to curtain wall mullions, I'll start there. You can just use the default rectangular mullion type, and you can just make it whatever size you need for your batten. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take any one of these and I'm gonna duplicate, and I'll call this one batten two, but let's say you just take the regular two and a half inch mullion, you just duplicate it and go batten two. And then in here you can just give it the information you want. What's the width to each side? So if it's an inch thick batten, you're gonna need half inch and half inch. And then if it's one and a half inches out or something like that, you would do one and a half inches out. And then of course you wanna make sure you give it a material. So notice I have one called black board and batten. <clears throat> And then I actually have an offset of a quarter inch, and I'll explain that in a second. But So real simple, I just made a, pro, a mullion profile for that. Then, for the curtain panels, you just pull down where it says curtain panels. I'm going to go to system panels. And if there isn't one called boards already, you can just take one of the glazed ones, the solid ones, doesn't really matter. Um, duplicate it. We'll call it boards 2. Double click on here. And you'll notice I have right here, I have a thickness of one inch, so maybe it's a half inch, I don't know, <clears throat> whatever your board is gonna be, and then a material. So, you know, this material is insulation, I'm gonna give this one board, board and batten, whatever, backer board, I don't know where it is, let's see, board and batten, perfect. Black board and batten. So then from scratch, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create, you know, I have a board and batten, but if I start with curtain wall one, for example, of course I accidentally modified curtain wall one. <clears throat> Let's try window wall. So let's just say this is sort of your default curtain wall. You're just gonna go to edit type. You're gonna duplicate it. Let's call it board and batten two. I'm gonna change this uh, system panel to my boards, right? So now every time, if 
by default, your panel is going to be a board, right? So actually, I could just say OK here so you can see. So now it's a board. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my uh, vertical mullions, just the interior ones. If you want to do the exterior, you can. I'm going to change this one to batten 2. Click Apply. Now, if I was to just add grids, you can see what, what's happening here is it's actually making them. i got to change the offsets. but <clears throat> Now I can quickly just make grids. Or I can say board and batten is is uh, is usually a fixed distance so I'm gonna go vertical grid fixed distance and I'm gonna say 12 inches click apply click OK I have to change the offset of this guy which was for some reason two and a half is that default there you go <clears throat> so there you go and now what's really cool about this is because it's a curtain wall guess what you can do all of this cool stuff see how it just automatically does it if you stretch it up you stretch it up you could change the profile of it if you want to. So I can go, I can just slope, or you can attach it to roofs if you'd like to. So let me do this and this, click finish, and see it cleans up nicely. If I go here, you'll notice that this one is one single, one single curtain wall. If I detach it, you'll notice I have it, this is just the curtain wall, and then I just attach it to the roof. <clears throat> What's really nice about this, and honestly, this is probably where it's most useful for, unless you really want to build out that 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 uh, that if you're really defined on the design and you want to use this for your details and stuff like that, then it's really nice. The more you model, right, the better. Um, but it really looks good in visualizations. So one thing that you'll never get to look good is board and batten or, or standing seam metal roof will just never render well, um, just because the textures just don't give you enough bump or shadows or edges, right? So this one, what's really nice about it is if I jump over to Twin Motion, and here is the scene. Whoa, zoomed in a little fast on you there. Now what you'll see is depending on where my shadow lines are and stuff like that, you'll see the board and batten looks much, much better when you're in Twin Motion or Lumion or any of those other ones, right? <clears throat> and so that's why it's really cool. And, and, and yes, it's... So you're managing two walls. So I'm putting a curtain wall in front of a regular wall. But the reality is, um, if you're if you're if you're considered your design finite, then you're good. But the reality is, it's also not that hard to change it, especially in, a, in an example like this. Um, so that's how I created board and battens. That's how I create standing seam metal roof. There's another click for that. The slat roofs um, use the empty system panel. Check out that video.